Good morning, Divine Masculine. Good morning, gentlemen. 99.9% um, .9 of Divine Masculines are going to be a male energy, but not always. There's, there are some, quite a few, even though it's a small percentage of the entire whole, but there are some who will be females or vice versa, because we do not have gender at the soul level. But on this channel, most of the Divine Feminines are female energy, and most of the Divine Masculines are masculine energy. So reverse the roles as necessary, okay? And this is going to be a reading to do a check-in. If Spirit will allow me, I want to check in on Divine Feminine and see what's going on in the Divine Feminine energy, okay? Spirit, will you please allow me to check in to Divine Feminine and see where Divine Feminine is at right now on behalf of the Divine Masculine so that they can see how they might be able to work on the relationship with the Divine Feminine. Can you please show me Spirit? Here we go with the dog barking. It's like certain things that I try to do and say, he freaks out. And there's nothing to freak out at. All right, Spirit, can you give me a card that represents how you're working in Divine Feminine's life today? How are you working in the Divine Feminine's life, Spirit? Can you show us? Thank you so much. Happiness. I mean, real happy. Divine Feminine is happy, happy. Spirit is giving Divine Feminine bliss. Bliss. Maybe a baby. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have that emperor in reverse. My, my, my theory is that Divine Feminine right now is finally learning to love herself, to be okay with herself, and that she has all nine cups. That's my theory, though, but we'll see what comes out when we pull cards. But a lot of the Divine Feminines are, in fact, okay right now without their Divine Masculine. And they walked away. They made that shift. And what happens in these relationships is when we finally work through all those things that we need to work through, and we're finally okay without Divine Masculine, and we say, if this is what I'm going to get out of this, to hell with this, and we walk away, the shift happens, and then that that person who was chasing all of a sudden becomes chased. And I know it sounds like a game, and it's not meant to sound like a game. It's about doing the work. It's about doing the soul work to become the best version of ourselves possible. And as we mirror you, as we mirror you, and we see ourselves in you, if we do the work, then we make corrections. And if we're truly twins, then we should both be really parallel with one another at the soul level. So if I'm working on abandonment issues, then my twin is probably working on some kind of abandonment issues as well. Or they might actually be abandoning me so that I can realize that I need to work on these abandonment issues. They might have a, a situation where they're being abandoned. I mean, it, it's just about that soul work. And not everybody is willing to do the work. And so some contracts have been ended. Some soul contracts have ended because it takes a special person to get in this process and to stay in this process. And, and there are relationships that come along that will trick you and make you think that this is a twin when it's actually not a twin it's a false flame that happens too and i think that there's been a lot of that going on as well i've been hearing about it and seeing it and people that have reached out to me but right now it looks like spirit has this this divine feminine your Divine Feminine, if you're watching this, that means this video is for you, and it's timeless, so if you, doesn't matter when you see it, when you see it is when you meant to see it. It looks like your Divine Feminine is good. They're 
good. They're happy. Probably the happiest they've been in a long time. Let's see. 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 Looks like maybe some of them have withdrawn their love and they're moving away from this relationship because it wasn't fulfilling them. They withdrew their love because they wanted things to be more equal. They wanted equal give and take. And they were giving more than they were receiving or vice versa. They withdrew their love so they could get victory, so they could be good, so they could be good on their own. Victory! Victory! They got it! They got the victory! Alright, let's look at how the Divine Feminine is thinking. What is the Divine Feminine thinking about their Divine Masculine right now? Spirit, what is the Divine Feminine thinking about the Divine Masculine? They're thinking that they can take care of themselves. They're nurturing. They're loving. they got good jobs. They're good with their money. They know how to take care of their families. They are good in the earthly aspects of life. They are doing fine. But when they walked away, they were able to do okay because they did the work. They ended this. And they're fine. You might be African American. You might live somewhere where there's long leaf pines and oak trees. You might have a papa's on chair. You've got money in the bank. You're comfortable. You're not struggling. You might have on a pretty dress for church this morning. You might just like to wear pretty dresses. You might have a red pillow in that chair. You might have a scarf on your head. You might wear big dangling earrings. I'm getting names. For what names are you giving me? For some reason I'm hearing the name Martha. Sarah. Tamika, Jesse, Desiree, those names come to mind. You're holding on to your money too, baby. Hang on to that money. <clears throat> so what they're thinking is that they're good. They can take care of themselves. Anything else they're thinking, Spirit? Why is it in reverse? They're thinking about a new beginning. You may be getting a new job or starting something new. Why is it in reverse, though, Spirit? Oh... Spirit says you're spying, so they don't want you to know about this new thing they got coming. But they got something new that's about to start. Something new, maybe a new job. This is an ace of pentacles. This can be anything new. They might be going back to school. They getting ready to start something brand new though. Brand new. Spirit's giving them a new opportunity new opportunity and they don't want anybody to know what it is all right that's what they're thinking divine masculine that's what your divine feminine is thinking what is divine feminine feeling about this relationship what are they feeling about this relationship they want it to grow they want it to work it's a lot of earth showing up here capricorn virgo taurus gemini libra aquarius they really want this to work, and they want this to grow. And in fact, they say they are going to grow themselves. They're going to work on themselves, and they're going to take what they got, and they're going to invest it 
And even though it looks like it may not grow, they're going to trust that it's going to grow and do what they have to do. They're going to water it. They're going to fertilize it. They're going to give whatever they need to give towards making this grow. You might have on a black t-shirt this morning. You might do something getting your hands dirty where you work. Yellow is strongly showing up to me here. That sun, that happiness. There's a lot of happiness. There's a sense of things might not be perfect, but spirit is giving me happiness in spite of my situation. In spite of the fact that this person that I, I, I would love to be with is not with me, I'm going to be happy anyway. And maybe you are with this person and there's a lot of success here. And you're going to have a beginning together and it's going to grow. I get a sense that that's the case too with some of us. The roots go deep in this relationship. There's a lot of history here. There's a sense that there's going to be some a lot of success. A lot of stability. Anything else they are feeling spirit what else might they be feeling what else might they be feeling about this relationship spirit can you tell me what else divine feminine is feeling divine feminine is trusting and praying and meditating and sending it out into the universe that they're going to hear from you that they haven't been hearing from you you've been silent and they're trusting and believing spirit that they're going to hear from you and you're going to have good news and that good news is going to be that you've finally chosen this relationship that's what divine feminine is feeling they are feeling that so strongly You might have long black hair, you might be African American, you might do yoga, you might have a yoga mat, you might do some kind of um, martial arts, you might have a spiral staircase in your house, you might have a pierced nose, you might have a pierced private part. You might have pink yoga pants and a blue and white yoga top. You might have a crystal ball like I, like I have. Divine Feminine knows you have a lot of choices. And Divine Feminine knows that not all of those choices are good. That some of those choices are bad. But they're tempting you. You might have a go to hell hat or some kind of beanie or some sort of hat long shoulder length hair very unkept makes you very sexy you might have a tattoo of something on your cheek or on your cheekbone you might wear a watch a black um, digital watch like a um, smart watch you might be looking at that smart watch right now and if you are listen up you might be learning higher math. You might be learning about astrology. You might have pink or blonde spiky hair. Somebody definitely has an earring in their nose. You might have dreads in your hair and keep it up in like a fluffy hairstyle. You might like to gamble. You might like to gamble too much and it's causing you some trouble in your finances. You might like to go to the ocean. Divine Feminine knows that you're going to... Divine Feminine is trusting Spirit so strongly for you to make this choice and that they're going to hear from you and you're going to tell them that you've chosen them. That's all they really want right now. That's what they're feeling deep down inside is they want to know that you will choose them. Why haven't you chosen them? This is a beautiful person. 
Dude, why hasn't Divine Masculine chosen this? Maybe you're just looking for the opportunity. Or maybe you're looking for another opportunity. Clarify the Three of Wands. Can you show me what's going on? You're ending another relationship. You're ending another relationship that's transforming you into this divine masculine that you need to be. You might have already been married to somebody else and you met this person by accident. Or you might have been in a committed relationship. But somehow there was another individual in this relationship. And you're ending that and transforming it so that you can choose this person. What is the likely outcome of this relationship spirit once this third party is ended and this relationship comes together in you? What is this what is that gonna look like? Can you show us? Wow. You're manifesting this. You're manifesting once that ends that you're gonna run back to this person. And you're going to live with this person and things are going to be calmer. Or reverse the roles if you need to. But this person or you are manifesting this. And I think it might be your divine feminine based on this trust that's showing up here. But it could be you. <clears throat> Can you give us any details other than that spirit? Wow. Commitment tried to jump out like marriage commitment you probably want to marry this person you at least want to be in a really strong commitment with this person now what is this you were a player and you were fighting someone was a player and they were fighting and that's why this wasn't working Why is the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse? Because you know that this can lead to everything you've ever wanted. You know this can go to the Ten, ten of Pentacles. This can be the house, the car, the career, the money in the bank, the dog. You can have it all. Whatever having it all looks like for you, because it's going to be different for everybody. For some, it might be three houses with a beach house. One in, on every, you know, every ocean. But for some, it might just be a small house that you own with a car and a dog and a job that you get up and go to work. For some, it might be famous. A famous musician. For some, it might be a card reader on YouTube and not having to work in the public anymore because your spirituality has taken over your, your being and you're trying to figure out a way to make a living like I am with your gifts that Spirit's giving you. You know this can go, go to everything, but right now you just need some time to be by yourself. You just need time to look at this and you need to do the dark night of the soul. You need to do that dark night. You need to go within, do the shadow work, work on those parts of ourselves that need to be worked on. Our ego, we have to have an ego death for these relationships to be successful. We have to work on Being too clingy, we have to work on our communication, being a good communicator, <coughs> saying what you mean, and meaning what you say. We have to work on our codependent behaviors. We have to work on family wounding. We have to go. We have to work through our mommy issues and our daddy issues and our traumas. 
like for instance for me growing up I had one death after the other major death my father my sister two brother-in-laws major major trauma and then I lived through many years of, of active addiction and killing myself and it took me to some of the darkest unimaginable places that addiction ever takes people living on the streets doing whatever I had to do to get more being caught in that vicious cycle we have to work through the damage that that has done and get to the sun get to the place where we're okay with ourselves where we can go inside and we can see the shadows and we can know that the sun still shines that there is something better <clears throat> and once we've done all that then we have the ability to make the decision about having love but until we work through those parts of ourselves that are broken and wounded we really don't have anything to offer another human being except our traumas. Spirit, what else do you want to say? Anything else you want to say? Speak to our hearts today. Don't be confused. And don't be angry at this wounding and that this, the, your weaknesses are what is going to allow you to become more. And I've said this before, that spirit works through our weaknesses. You might think because you have all of these traumas, you know, at one time in my life, I thought, you know, being... Somebody who struggled so severely with addiction to the point of allowing people to use me sexually, um, being raped, living with controlling men to the point where I didn't even know how I liked my eggs cooked. If you ask me how I like my eggs, I liked things the way you liked them. Because my identity was so much a part of the person that I was with. Don't think that because you struggle with these things, sex addictions, gambling, substance use disorders, whatever that wounding looks like, that is the very thing that Spirit is going to use to make you into a Nine of Pentacles the best version of yourself. The empathy that you will develop through living through these situations and working through the, the pain, writing it out, talking to somebody about it, knowing that it's, not, it's, it's okay. It doesn't have to define us. The things that we've done in life, those shameful things that we've done that we don't want anybody to know about, I mean, I never wanted anybody to know that I used to work truck stops to get dope. But I did. And you know what? It's okay. Because that's not who I am today. And that wounding is what allowed me to reach for more. That wounding is what turned my life around. Hitting that bottom. And it's different for everyone. But we should not be judgmental. And it's okay to communicate this with others. Because when we can communicate what we've been through with others, then they can also find freedom. It's okay to talk about the things that have hurt us. It's okay to talk about our weaknesses. It's part of death of the ego when we can be ourselves and open up ourselves 
to other human beings so they can know I'm okay too. It's what gets us out of this isolated energy. <clears throat> it's what leads us to this freedom, this happiness, this sun. We made it back around to the end of this message because this is the card we began with. Whatever you have struggled with in this life, whatever you're still struggling with in this life, do not allow that shame to hold you down. Do the shadow work. Find somebody who's been through it. Reach out to me. I'm willing to coach you. I have a master's degree. I am qualified to do life coaching. And I will be happy to help you work through the shadow work. We can work through it together because I might find something that I overlooked. But Spirit wants us to have happiness. And we cannot have that happiness if we're still bound by secrets that are we feel like are shameful that we can't talk to anybody about. But there are people who have been through it who are willing to let you know they've been through it so that we can heal because we all need to heal our wounding. Alright, Spirit, what else do you want to say to us about this? Can you give us some guidance from this deck right here? Can you please give us some guidance, Spirit, from this deck? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to open up a part of myself for those who might need it. What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? Are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take life into, into your own hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move forward towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared. Take the leap. Today's soul action. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you are really made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. And then on the bottom of the deck, whom am I ready to forgive? I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. Carl Jung. It is time to let go, forgive, and move onward. Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Today's soul action, write a forgiveness letter and then practice the Ho'oponopono prayer today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. I love you, Christy. I am sorry, Christy. Please forgive me, Christy. Thank you. Or maybe you fill in those blanks with somebody else's name. Maybe you have childhood wounding from a parent who abandoned you or who abused you. Or maybe you did that to your children. It's okay. It's okay. We've all done stupid shit we regret. But it says weaknesses, if we'll allow them if we'll talk about them and stop trying to hide them, that will help us to become the best versions of ourselves ever imaginable. The best version. You never thought you could be such an amazing person. <clears throat> but you are. All right, Spirit. What else would you like to say? Let's just see what comes out of these, you guys. All right, Spirit. We're talking about Divine Feminine now. It looks like Divine Feminine's doing all right. What, what, what are you saying out of these cards about Divine Feminine? Oh, that's a lot, Spirit. You may not get the reaction you want if you decided to tell them they are... You may not get the reaction you want if you decide to tell them they're your Divine Counterpart. Isn't that the truth? Sometimes they just think that we're crazy. At first they think we're crazy, don't they? You guys admit it. The first time somebody said that they felt like you were their twin flame, you probably never even thought that there was a such of a thing. Because a lot of the guys that I've heard of, they don't, it's usually the female that automatically recognizes the male, and then they run like hell. Because the, the connection is so intense. And then 
game on. <laughs> and then this one says, expectations lead to disappointment. And don't they though? You might like to smoke cigarettes. You might like to drink a little whiskey. It looks like you're planning to have a date tonight. But you look angry like you got stood up. Maybe that was last night. And then this card says, you didn't imagine it. And you didn't. We didn't imagine it. It's real. You might have like big bouncy curls and brown hair, shiny pretty brown hair, long beautiful eyelashes, dark brown eyes. You might like to wear red lipstick. Let others meet you at your level. Don't lower your vibration to meet theirs. You might have you might be laying on the couch snuggled up with a blanket this morning over your lap. You might have a long bead necklace that has a knot in it. You might have beautiful pearls that you had from your grandmother. You might have a pretty wedding dress you're saving in the closet. Spend time in nature, no doubt. It's a beautiful day outside. Get outside and spend time in nature with spirit. And then don't let anyone play mind games with you. You might like to play games on your phone. You might like to play video games. You probably like to play video games too much, but just don't be letting anybody play mind games with you. Okay, Spirit, what can we get out of these cards right here? Whoa, dang it. You fucked up. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> Say it out loud. I'm sorry. Open your mouth. Talk. Use big words like validate, acknowledge, and empathize. Interrupting is for assholes. Let them fucking finish their sentence. And then, do you really love them? Then wash, fold, and put away the clothes. Alright, and then on the bottom of the deck it says, It's not that serious. Laugh, fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter. Amen to that. Alright, spirit, what else? Y'all want to ask a question? I got a couple of new twin flame decks that are coming, and y'all are going to love those decks, okay? Alright, you got your question? You ready? Good job, Divine Feminines. Divine Feminines are happy because they're independent. Spirit says, take action. And on the bottom of the deck, it says, yes. Da -da -da -da. Next question. You got your question? I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting my little channel. And all of you who have interacted with me on this channel, I am so blessed to have you here. Spirit says, remain positive and be assertive. You got your next question, babe? You might have on some plaid. You might have on a white shirt. You might have on socks with your little church shoes. Or you, oh, you got your little girl dressed up to go to church with her little lacy socks on. She is too cute. And she looks like she just learned how to walk. Alright, you got your next question? Samantha. I'm hearing the name Samantha. Compromise. Compromise. And recovery. I'm also hearing the name Jessica. And there's a D name, Dahlia. Dahlia? I don't know. Anyway, what else? Let's see how the angels have our backs, okay? Oh, the left one on the shelf. How do the angels have our backs, Spirit? Amanda. Knowledge. Maybe these are your Divine Feminine's names that I'm hearing, guys. How else do you have our back, angels? Guardian angel. You have a guardian angel. Administration, which means putting the people and the places in the exact spot for you, for your 
situation to improve. Putting things right where they need to be, placing the right, the right people in your path, the right opportunities in your path. Everything you need will be put in the right place at the right time. Divine timing for your situation. Anything else, Spirit? Beauty. Remember you're beautiful. Your person is beautiful. Make sure you tell them that often. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have divine plan. Spirit has a divine plan. And sometimes it's hard to know. And it's hard to see. And we feel like we just aren't going to make it. Like, what have we, what have we got to do, Spirit, for things to get better? Why aren't things improving? Why are we going through this? Why, 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 why? But my motto this year is why not? Why not? And when I ask myself questions like, should I do a YouTube channel? Would I be successful at a YouTube channel? My answer is always now. Why not? Why not you, Christy? Why not you? Why not? You've been through all the shit that life threw at you. Why not? And maybe you feel the same way. Why not you? Why not the blessing? All right, Spirit. <clears throat> what would Divine Feminine say to Divine Masculine out of these cards? Your love life is about to soar. Fantasy is about to become reality. I keep getting these same cards. I know I don't deserve to even ask this of you, but please hold space for me in your heart, even if you move on. Set healthy boundaries with unhealthy people. Learn to say no. True love is healthy. I just need more time to sort things out. I will come back to you in divine timing. I want you in my arms so fucking bad. I just want to spoil you the way you deserve. Alright. Now, what would Divine Masculine say to Divine Feminine? Or whichever. The opposite. I can't remember. Yeah, Divine Masculine now. You deserve so much more than I can give you. But I'm working on becoming the person you deserve. Would you take me back? I want to apologize. But I fear rejection. Spirit has your back. Trust, believe, and move ahead. I am coming home to you. Leave the light on. And then on the bottom of the deck, it says, love yourself first. All right. So, can I please get heal yourself, Spirit? How are you going to heal us during this separation? Spirit says, wild. You need to get in touch with that wild side. It's okay to be wild and be free. Just make sure you have that oil in your lamp. You might like the color red. You might be in a gang. You might like to go out on the boat and go fishing. Oh my goodness, y'all. I guess there's a lot of healing that needs to be done for Divine Feminine's home. These relationships do feel like home. You're probably going to call, write, text, message somehow. You're going to get in touch with your person. There will be communication at some point soon. Sexual art. Remember, these relationships deserve sexual purity. They deserve that. Spirit says, discover your life purpose. Alchemy. Use alchemy to create the future that you want. Don't be selling out. Have courage. It's okay to be courageous and wild and free, but make sure you have that oil in your lamp. And those red Japanese maples are somehow significant also. Unleash your creativity. This is somebody who has a purpose on their life. A calling. That hole in your soul. And then on the bottom of the deck, what we don't see coming is love. See him watching you? You're watching her, aren't you, Divine Masculine? You're watching that feminine, aren't you? 
Alright, what else, Bear? Anything else you want to do before I close this reading? What do you want to say out of this deck right here, Spirit? What do you want to say about this relationship with Divine Feminine? Free yourself. Time to take back control of your life and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then on the bottom of the deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So stay positive. We're in that sun energy. Happiness. Spirits, can you give us happiness, ladies? Gentlemen, your divine feminine is doing good right now. And from what I'm seeing here, it looks like there could be some unions coming up pretty soon. Okay? Uh, hold, it, hold out there. And... Forgive, not for them. Do that shit for you. Go inside. Do that shadow work. That's what the Divine Feminines have been doing. And they're ready. They're ready. It looks like they're happy. They're ready. They're okay without you. So if you feel that shift, just know that's why. Can I get trinkets, please, for this reading? Thank you so very much, Spirit. I have... Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. I have my black tourmaline. I have a huge hand for intuition. Somebody's a card reader. I have the Susan B. Anthony. I have a huge elephant. I have always in my heart. I have a tree of life. I have a shell. Maybe your name is Michelle. I have a gun. Maybe you're into guns or the Fifth Amendment. I have another hand for intuition, another card reader. Maybe you're just intuitive. I have a tower. I have another coin. Maybe you're into Bitcoin. I have a heart with a nursing cap on it and the EKG, oh, the EKG heart. So somebody's in the medical profession. Thank you for your service, especially during COVID. And then I have the bunny with the racket, which always reminds me of the pharmaceutical companies. I have that tail. I think it might be a whale tail or a mermaid tail. It looks like a whale tail. Live, laugh, and love. I have another cross. I have a fancy little unicorn. I have a pretty little flower. I have a crown. Maybe you're royalty. Maybe you are from the royal family or... You live near there or something. I have two swans connected. I have a three-leaf clover. I have a seahorse because seahorses mate for life. I have north, south, east, and west. Maybe you have an altar. And I have a fancy heart. All right, trinkets from this other bowl, please, Holy Spirit. I have... The love between a grandmother and granddaughter are forever. I have a pretty little angel. I have a real fancy heart that I can't hold on to this morning. I have a world. Maybe you're going to travel. I have a light bulb. Uh-huh. I have a Star of David. Maybe you are Jewish or maybe your name is David. I have that skull on the music note. Maybe you love rock and roll or somebody you love was a musician that's crossed over. I have a feather. Jackson. I'm hearing the name Jackson. I have a tower. I'm hearing the name Donovan. I have a ball. I have an anchor. I'm hearing the name Celia. I have an arrow for Sagittarius. I have the word love. I have a cross. And I have another tower. I'm hearing another name, but I'm not sure what it is. Gallagher, might be your last name. I have help. I have wealth. 
I have Commitment, Sheila, I have Believe, and I have Success. And I have all these names coming at me from every direction. Deborah. Okay, you guys. I love you. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video if it resonates with you or if you just enjoyed it. Comment and let me know what you thought, how you resonated, and give me some feedback. And I want to tell you how grateful I am again for your support. I never imagined last year when I started this YouTube channel that my videos would be seen by so many people and I'm grateful that so many people can relate to my story and to the things that I've been through and I hope that you will continue to support me I love you I love you I love you and spirit loves you and spirit wants to connect with you spirit wants you to know that spirit loves you God bless bye bye